Welcome to this Odoo lesson about taxes. Most countries require companies to add a sales tax to invoices. There are different types of sales taxes, and in most cases, it's the responsibility of the selling company to collect that tax and send it to the government. So let's start with the sales tax on retail. A tax is added to the retail price of an item, and the collecting company remits the taxes to the government. Simple and easy. This happens every time something is sold retail to its final customer. This means the retailers won't have to pay for the tax on these items when they acquire them for retail. Another form of taxation is the value added tax or VAT, also known as the goods and services tax or GST. This tax is based on the increase in value of a product or service at each stage of production or distribution. Concretely, this means that we add all the taxes we spend on the vendor bills, and we also add all the taxes we collect from our customers. The difference between the two is what we send to the government. For example, at my company, Stealthy Wood, we paid six of VAT in total to our suppliers, and we collected 10 from our customers. We will give four of this amount to the government. So let's see how this works in our Odoo database. All right, so here I am on my database. Let's go straight to the invoicing application. Once we're here, we're going to go to configuration settings. Okay, from the settings page, the first section that we're going to have is our taxes section here. And this is where we'll be able to define our default taxes. So we're going to be able to add our default for both sales and purchase. Okay, so we have our sales tax and our purchase tax. But now what we're going to do is go back to configuration and then to taxes to see all of the taxes we have set up. So we have the entire list here. First of all, on the left, we're going to have the tax name. And then as we go right, we'll see the tax scope, the label um, that we have on invoices, and also if the tax is active or not. So let's go ahead and check out a tax that I already have here. But if you would like to create a new one, you can simply click on the Create button. All right, so I'm going to go to my tax, 21%. Okay, so that's the name. And as we can see, this is my TVA 21%. So I'm going to go ahead and select this and click on edit so we see all of our options. All right, so first of all, again, my tax, the tax name is 21%. I think this is really clear um, and easy for me as the user. Okay, and if I go to tax scope, I'm going to see that I have several options. All right, so more than just sales, I can also say purchases, none, or adjustment. All right. For definition, we have the tax computation and the amount. Okay, so right now I have this selected as percentage of price, but if I would like to, I can say group of taxes fixed or even percentage of price tax included. And then we can go on over to our advanced options. All right, first of all, we're gonna have um, the label on invoices. So um, the label that I put on my invoices is TVA 21%. I think that's pretty clear. I also have my tax group which is TVA 21%. I can also create one of these tax groups on the fly if I need to by clicking on create and edit. Then I'll also have some tags which are important for our reports. On the right side, I'm gonna see included in price and effect base of subsequent taxes. Now when I click on included in price, it's gonna automatically select effect base of subsequent taxes. All right, if I uh, unselect included in price, I will also need to unselect this if I would like to. Now, something that's cool here with these fields and many fields in Odoo is if we hover over the words, we're going to have a small definition. So in this case, it says, if set, taxes which are computed after this one will be computed based on the price tax included. All right, so if at any time you're not really sure what something is, you can always scroll over and see we have another one for tax scope. You can always scroll over, scroll over the field and have a small definition. All right, so just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this. So I'm leaving it the way that it was. Now, if I would like to create a new tax, but I don't want to create one from scratch, I can always duplicate one that already exists. Okay, so just keep that in mind if you do need to create a new tax, all right? That will um, duplicate things such as the tags, for example. Um, and so it, it basically can just make your life a bit easier. All right, now what we're going to do is actually go to customers and products. Okay, so we're still in the invoicing application. We're not gonna leave. And I'm gonna create a new product. So I'm gonna click on create. Okay, so I know that my default tax is 21%. And I'm gonna see that right here. Okay, customer tax is 21%. But let's imagine I have a product um, that has a lower tax. Okay, let's say um, I would like this product and let's say, um, 
unique design um, by Eduardo. Let's say I would like um, the unique designs by Eduardo to be considered as art pieces. Okay, so this art doesn't have the same um, taxation as a regular product. So instead of 21%, I actually need to change this to 6%. So on the product template, I can change the customer tax that will appear by default on the invoice or sales order. Okay, so I'm going to remove this and I'm going to add 6% right here. Okay, and I'm also going to make this a storable product and I'm going to deselect can be purchased. Okay, and then I'm going to save. Oh, but something I'm missing, which is very important, is the sales price. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that right now. And then we're going to save again. Okay, once I have uh, created this product, or now that I've created this product, I'm also going to um, create a new invoice. So let's go back to customers, and we're going to go to invoices and create. Okay. So for my customer, I'm going to choose Fantasio Motors. I'm going to go ahead and add that unique design by Eduardo. Now I also have another designer, Ricardo. Okay, he sells some chairs. So as you can see, I have um, uh, many designers and many special pieces at Stealthy Wood. We like to give our customers a, a huge range of products or um, thing items that will make them feel unique and special. Okay, so as we can see, the 6% tax automatically applies, okay? I set that on the product template and it's here on the invoice. Now, if I add another product that isn't considered an RP, so uh, not by one of my designers, it will have the regular tax. So let's go ahead and add a large cabinet. I have the 21%. Okay, so I don't have to manually change that on the invoice, okay? I can do it on the product template, which saves me a ton of time. So let's go ahead and save this. When I go to the other info tab, I'm also going to have a tax description here that will appear on the invoice. Okay, so I see um, that I have a twenty a product that has uh, that's being taxed uh, twenty one percent, and another one with a six percent tax, and I can see the total amounts on the right. Okay, so then when we, when we go to preview this, okay, we're previewing the invoice. We're looking at it uh, the way the customer will. All right, we're going to scroll down and we're going to have that tax description right here as well. Okay, so uh, we're being really clear about uh, what is being taxed and how uh, much the tax actually is, what the tax amounts to. All right, so it's really easy um, to tax your customers um, at different taxes for different products um, because we know that things can change based on the product category or even um, where your business is located and more. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.